fire back up. The starter, it was the starter that was going bad. It's huffing real bad too out of this, which it wasn't before. Wasn't it just idling? It sounded completely it was just idling. I think there's idling. Hey, we're gonna take care of her. So she takes care of us. She takes care of us. She takes care of us. Yeah, I know. Looks like chocolate milk. Did you get a video on it? Improper maintenance, guys. Don't blame me for all in tuning for this one. The same on same amount of boosts as the past four. Just came in earlier. Slide it in a little bit. So here. hopefully, uh, Macron machining has been out of business for quite a while, but we'll slap a bearing in it if we have to. You want me to turn my headlights off? All right, guys, so we made the fastest pass the car has ever made today. Unfortunately, the worst thing that could have ever happened to the car is happening. But this is part of race week, and we're working on it, and we're going to see what we what, can do, but there is a rod is it? knock. What time is it's, uh, it's like 11 o'clock here, which is like 1 o'clock in the morning Florida time. But this is, uh, this is part of race week. And well, what happens is you got to idle for I mean, like five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. It got is, up to temperature. The thing is, is you got what they call an oil cushion, which is the oil gap between bearing and crank. The longer it sits, the more time it has to drain back. Probably lost the oil cushion where it wasn't making noise, and now it's probably stretched the rod. Is what happened. And you didn't hear it because it had oil in between it and the crank. Now that that's drained out. Shit. The thing about it is the pan does come off this car fairly easy. You can get bearings and slap the bearing in the one that's knocking and send it. You can get your pan off without pulling anything off. It literally just drops out the bottom. Holy Is that enough, Brent? Or do you no, we got to pick it. up too because it's a truck pan. Just go ahead and uh, sag the cave member now. So just do those four bolts and it should sag. It's still the same size here. Probably plus two. That one wasn't tight anyway. I had an idea on the first one. Sorry. 10 on the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> I got all kinds of calcium. Use <laughs> your head or George, you got so much oil in your beers. I feel it dripping all over my face. <laughs> That's why I married her. <laughs> okay, the winter tray is what we gotta look at next. That's where, if we got metal, that's where it is. A lot of dirtiness in there, dude. Bolt <laughs> number two rod cap. Talk to your tuner about the timing. Now look for any oh, rods that are black and cooked. Yeah. Right here. No, that's I mean nothing's looking wild. A little bit, but nothing. A little heat, little nothing's bit. Nothing's looking weird, purpose. man. Ow! This one's blue, it's discolored, and it's, you can see it's sticking down past the crank a little more than it should. Oh, that bitch is bent! Is it? Oh, hang on. The last one's bent, I think, dude. That would make sense. Well, pull this. Look at this. 
Yeah. Not even that one, the other one. Yeah, pull the blue one off first. See what's going on. Is it thrust still in this? Bro. Can you see the that thrust? That just bent, dude. It's gotta be up. Jack Sand, look at a number eight. It's gotta You're gonna be, have to get that. Yeah, Let me see it. Let me see it. Get the phone from Ben, George. Ben can make sense. Get over here, Ben. It's right on top of my PP. Thanks. <laughs> Fine, hey, are they Gen 4 rods? I just peed. Yeah. Focus in on that. 18,000 boosting. Nothing pretty easy. Oh, brand 40. new thing getting it all lubed up. Oh, yeah, it's definitely getting lubed up. <laughs> definitely looks like it's bent. Could be an optical illusion. <laughs> Let's get this rod cap off and see what's going on. Towards the camera. Let me see the dog. He's All right, don't make. Look, hang on now. It's a little hey, scratchy scratch. In this motor. Why do, what do we got there is a bent, bent rod, there but it doesn't bent. look bent enough to be making that noise. It's usually yeah, like it's a. Like barely, like, yeah, it's just like this. Not that one. It's like this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not even like uh, longitudinal, more latitudinal. Mm. <laughs> Something scientific. Definitely. It was scientific, <laughs> honestly. This How's is that? science. How is that over uh, he's got it. It's got a gouge in it, but... How's the crank look? I'm about to wipe it off right now. The yeah. crank? Yeah. It ran a lot of miles like that. <laughs> and some burp passes. Looks fine. You need to hit me. Is that right? It's, it's definitely not rod knocking back here. Definitely on the Parker side of the motor where the sound's coming from. Definitely don't want this red rag shit. It's not like bearing, but I'm not seeing any bearing that would make that noise. And I don't see the glitter in the pan. I don't see it. It just hasn't washed away yet. This is the bent one, so it's beating it up and down, really not all around kind of thing. You don't think it's uh, something under the valve cover? Yeah, I got it. It's, 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 your light's not on. For it doesn't need to be. It honestly looks really good. No, I'm saying your light's not on. Yeah. Do you think it's okay? Dude, I'm telling you, it looks really good without the light on. I see it perfectly. Oh, you, oh you're recording. Okay, I thought you were just trying to hold your flashlight. No, light. I was yeah. getting footage for him. <laughs> okay. Dang, Georgie, you going through them all? There is a small groove in this one, but nothing to be like, oh, that's where that noise is. You know which way it goes? Which way is it going? Well, it's numbered. Just look at the side. The number side. goes down. To the, the number goes towards this. Towards Jack's like eight to eight. You look on your rod cap on this side. Right there? No, no, no. This no, one's no, no. not. On the no. very side, the very edge. I mean, the oil didn't look It'll be like an engraved eight. Yeah. I see it. It goes towards you. It goes yeah, towards the oil you. that washed out be making a noise like that? Well, it would freaking... That would cause the bearing to... You know, grow a gap, and they don't look like it. You know. I mean that that bearing you just showed me. It's untouched it's on, the, on the sides. Right. Did you hear it, George? No. I'm just too busy. Are you pulling one and then putting them back so we know where they all go? Yeah. yeah. You got two bolts, Parker. You need two bolts. Give me one more. We got torque these like babies, or we just got. Oh. You got bigger problems than that. Then. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Where's that impact? We need a torque wrench. <laughs> Yeah, there's a torque wrench in uh, that Milwaukee bag, man. Torque over here. Ben, grab the torque wrench. Got it. Boom the low down, Jack Stan, on the camera. Jack Stan. Oh, What's there, the deal? We got it. So um, we just cranked it and compression built and pushed water past the piston. Water inside your cylinder, you know, inside a combustion chamber, is not good. You're not supposed to have water there. Only fuel, air, and spark. Typically bends a rod. So the bent rod could be from a lifted head, which then well, filled a cylinder full of water. Ratchet, bent it when he tried to start it. That fighting it, I did not see it when it was running. It might have puked a little water out of here, but it could be a uh, head gasket problem. So we still got power. Look at right here. Yes, break. Break. Hey. At least it's on the easy side. To access. That's oil. From that's not from this. Yeah, because yeah, that's not full of glitter. <sighs> Could be that rod knock could be the piston chattering up and down as that bent rod's moving it up and down too. That yeah, collapsed the screw or something. Or, or took the wrist pin out. The wrist pin looked good in the video. 
Do they have bushings? Yeah. He has some shoes on. <laughs> George is comfy. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Alright, turn it over again. It's wet. See this? It's wet. Shine the light over here, man, that camera. See how it's dripping in water? Mm-hmm. Not a good sign. <laughs> I burped sure it's it. not fuel. It, it really doesn't, doesn't smell like it. We got water going well, that past, part? but it not really popping past out the, the hole once you had You don't want that going in your turf ski. That's a return ball. No, that's a feed ball. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You ever seen a boy with a nine inch toy? I don't think so. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, we took it apart and figured out what was wrong, so we're putting it back together. Well, we figured out one thing that was wrong. What? Definitely got a bent rod. Yeah, but we're not doing anything about that. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Sometimes it just happens and it's good to go. After you take it apart and put it back together? Yep. That's what you call fixing itself. Run. Yeah, but we're not doing anything about that. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Sometimes it just happens and it's good to go. After you take it apart and put it back together? Yep. That's what you call fixing itself. It just happens, right? <laughs> we uh, reverse rotate it for a little while so we can bend the rod the other way. <laughs> if we run it in reverse. Run it in reverse. <laughs> if we switch the positives and the negatives. <laughs> exactly. Brandon, is that how we do it at PFI? That's it. Bob. Here you go, George. <laughs> Emergencies only. <laughs> I could tell he drinks a lot of chocolate milk. Big chocolate milk drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't scratch those Cletus McFarlane Motion Raceworks valve covers. Available at motionraceworks.com <laughs> forward slash Cletus. <laughs> What's the code? For 50% off. Yeah. Ooh, 50% 50 off? 50%. Dude, that's a steep bar. Change your oil. <laughs> code change your oil. That's the code, change your oil. 50% off because he's only got one of them. That's the deal he got. I'm going to start doing those by hand. What, what, are you, what were you saying to anything? Maybe it's a camera. Well, those aren't too bad to swap. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Take that pan like back off. Just, oh, it just, like, if it was a rocket, kicked off this whole freaking time, I would... Oh, I'd be real upset. I'd be with happy, you guys. but I'd be upset at the same time. Because I've been having to go to the bathroom. On <laughs> tech. A whole phone stock of them. Good. That guy's good. At least it's not a far drive tomorrow. <laughs> it's only 500 miles. The Blazer Gang has officially been made, it is now a group of four. Time of death was. Uh, 121 a.m. June, June 16th. Jack Stan, cause of death. What are you thinking? Lack of maintenance. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> 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 